Hey guys and welcome back. Today we are going to create a simple splash screen which is going to stay on the screen for a predefined duration of time and you can see the splash screen. Anyways it is very simple so let's just get into the coding part. I'll just create a new project empty activity. Then I will create a new empty activity. and let's give it name splash screen activity then let's open the layout of the splash screen let's keep it in the design tab and uh, let me copy and put the logo file in the drawable folder which I'm going to use you can use any other logo file that you have or you can use the same one which I am using I'll keep the logo file in the description of this video then let's just drag and drop one image view and then you can choose the logo then let's open the split tab We can get rid of these two statements. And uh, let's give it a fix width of 200 dp. Then let's fix the logo file in the center of the activity. So for that, I'm going to use constraint top to top of parent. Then constraint bottom to bottom of parent then constraint start to start of parent and then finally constraint end to end of parent since we are using the constraint layout so i'm using these constraint properties to center align the image view then let's add one background color to this splash screen activity then the next step that we have to do is to make the splash screen activity as the launcher activity so that when we start the app the first activity that opens up is the splash screen activity so all we have to do is to cut this intent which specifies that the main activity is the launcher activity we have to cut this intent filter and we will just paste it within the activity tags of splash screen activity and this will make the splash screen activity as the launcher activity after that we have to use handler so that the splash screen activity stays on the screen for only predefined seconds and then the main activity opens up so let's start by defining a splash display length or the time duration and we will make it final And here we are talking about the milliseconds so 2000 means 2 seconds then getting inside we will start a new handler this handler is going to start the main activity after 2 seconds and we have to close this splash screen activity now this handler allows us to send and process messages as well as runnable objects and there are two main uses for a handler First is to schedule messages and runnables to be executed at some point in the future and to enqueue an action to be performed on a different thread than your own. And here in our example, we are going to use the handler to schedule our runnable to run after two seconds. So new handler and then you can import the required libraries by pressing alt and enter key and then select the first one that is handler android.os. Then after that dot post delayed and here we will define a new runnable all right then within the run method we have to create one intent to open the main activity after two seconds so we will just create a new intent as main activity intent and this intent is going to open 
main activity from splash screen activity so new intent within brackets splash screen activity dot this comma main activity dot class then we just have to start this intent so start activity and within brackets main activity intent and then we have to finish or stop or close the splash screen activity so we will just write finish now this post delete method takes two arguments first is the runnable for which we have defined one new runnable then second is the duration and duration we have already defined using the variable splash display length so we will just use the variable here and you can see post delete causes the runnable r to be added to the message queue to be run after the specified amount of time elapses and here the amount of time is 2000 milliseconds or two seconds anyways we don't have to get into so much of detail of handler and post delete we just have to keep the splash screen for two seconds and then open the main activity that is all we intend to do and on running the app you can see the splash screen for two seconds and also we can get rid of this action bar for this get inside this values folder and uh, open themes and here in the parent we just have to change it to no action bar now we don't have any action bar and also if you want to change the amount of time you can do it from here also if you want to get rid of the status bar from the top of the screen which displays information such as network or the notifications you can follow my another video the link is in the description as well as on the top of the screen in that video i have shown how we can have different themes in one app like we can have one common theme for the entire app and then another theme for some particular activities so you can follow that video to get rid of this status bar or the action bar from the top of the screen so that the splash screen is in the full screen of the window so that's all for a simple splash screen thanks for watching